In Great Western Trail, Argentina, players will be running cattle through the board and up to Buenos Aires where they'll be shipped off to Europe. On their turn, the player will move their Estancianiero to the different buildings on the board. The building they stop on will activate and will do a number of different things. Many buildings allow you to discard a certain type of cattle to gain pesos. Some spots will allow you to hire employees which will go onto your player board here. You may hire gauchos which help buy cattle, carpinteros which help you build buildings, and maquinistas which help you move your train. There is also a spot for granjeros, but we'll talk about them in a bit. Buildings with a cow on them are where you buy cattle. Which cattle you can buy and how much they cost depends on how many gauchos you have. For instance, if you have one gaucho, you can purchase a level 3 cow for 5 pesos. If you have two, you can buy one for 2 pesos, and if you have three, you can buy two level 3 cows for 5 pesos. This action here allows you to construct your own buildings using your carpinteros. Each of your buildings requires you to have a certain amount of carpinteros shown here. When you pay for a building, you will put it on any open spot on the board. Your buildings will do a whole bunch of different things, but most are stronger variations on the actions on the generic buildings. This action allows you to move your train using your maquinistas. You will move your train equal to how many maquinistas you have. If you come across a train station, you may stop your train there and pay to place a disc at this station. And if a station master tile is there, you may place one of your employees here to gain that bonus tile. These tiles will give you a one-time boon or an ongoing bonus and will provide endgame scoring. This action allows you to help out one or more granjeros. On the board are granjeros and you will be able to gain them when you use this action. To gain a granjero, you will need to pay their strength level shown in these scythes. Some employees will have a scythe on them which provide one strength, and these two spots will give strength if uncovered. But mostly your strength will come from your cattle. Each cow has strength on them shown here, and you can discard a cattle from your car to use the strength to gain a granjero. Though doing so will gain you an exhaustion card which gunks up your hand. Hey, you're having your cow go do work in their field, it's hard work and they're getting tired. When you gain a granjero, you can leave them to the side where they'll be worth 2 points at the end of the game and they can be used toward objectives, or you can flip them over and place them in their row after paying the peso cost and keep them on as an employee. And then this spot here will give you grain equal to how many granjeros you have as employees. We'll talk about what grain does in a bit. This spot allows you to gain an objective card which will gain you points at the end of the game if you meet its requirements. This spot allows you to use an auxiliary action on your board here if they are uncovered. Okay, that's all the main actions, but what happens when our instancenieros get to Buenos Aires? When you get to the end of the trail, you have arrived at Buenos Aires, though you may have noticed these spots here. If your train has reached one of these spots, you now have a shortcut to get to Buenos Aires. Once you get to a shortcut you've reached, you may immediately go to the end. Whenever you get to Buenos Aires, the first thing you can do is move one of your discs from the ports into the city if you have any. This will cost grain and can gain you pesos and end game points. As I stated, your cattle are being shipped off to Europe, which means they need to be put onto a ship. When you get to Buenos Aires, you will count up all the breeding value on your cattle in your hand shown here. The catch is you can only count unique cattle, so if you have two Patagonicos, you can only count one. You will then gain money equal to your breeding value and then you will place one of your discs onto a boat. The boats have a value and you may place a disc on any boat equal to or less than your breeding value. So if we had a hand equaling 9, we can place our cattle in any of these boats. Though to place a disc on a boat, you usually have a grain cost. Your cows gotta eat on the journey across the pond. You will then place 1A, 1B, and 1C tile out on the board. These will be granjeros or more employees to hire. So what happens once your cattle are on a ship? You may have noticed that the ships are either yellow, teal, or purple. When this marker here passes the color of ship, in this case yellow, all of the yellow ships will sail off to Europe. The ships will either sail to Liverpool, La Havre, great game, or Rotterdam. And any discs on those ships will be placed on these port spaces on the city board, which can then be moved into the city on a later turn. After you've done all this, your Instancenero will be placed back at the beginning and play will continue. The game will end once this token is pushed off the employee board and then players will score. Players will gain 1 point for every 5 coins, 4 points on their buildings, from any discs on stations, and any end game scoring from station master tiles they have. Points from discs in cities and on ships, and points from cattles and objectives. Players gain 2 points for every granjero they have. Note that this does not include the ones who are employees. They will gain points if they hired enough employees to reach these spaces and if they uncovered this space here. And finally, the player who ended the game gains 2 points, and the player with the most points will win.